Kia ora guys, Chrissy back again and we are going to get into the first episode of Season 5 of Game of Thrones. So we are starting Season 5 today. I cannot believe that we are up to Season 5 already. Um, we left off last season with a, like a few things. Um, I'm not going to go into it too heavily but uh, hello Tywin is dead, killed on the toilet by Tyrion. Um, Shay is also dead. Uh, Stannis came to the rescue of the Night's Watch um, uh, at the wall. So Bran has finally reached the uh, tree, the weirwood tree where that has been in his uh, visions. Um, he meets a, a mysterious young girl uh, who tells him about uh, the first men or children uh, they take uh, she takes him underground and they come across an old man who we find out has been the three-eyed raven unfortunately Jojen um, has died he died so that Bran could um, come to this uh, place and regain what he has lost apparently and when he asked the old man you know if that was going to be his ability to walk um he the old man says no uh you know you will not walk but you will fly so i have no idea what that means danny has had to deal with her dragons um drogon has um killed a young girl i think she was like three which hits me because my daughter is four <laughs> actually she'll be five next week actually well she'll already be five by the time this episode comes out um so she has taken her other two dragons, um, Rhaegal and Viserion. Like, they haven't said their names in the show yet, so I don't even know how to pronounce them. Um, I've just been told that that's what their names are. They've, we've heard Dro Drogon's name. Um, and she's locked them away. I don't know if it's, if it's permanently or if it's just for now, but I don't know, but... Drogon is nowhere to be found though. You know, he's, I guess he's off doing his own thing. Arya and the Hound met up with Brienne and Podrick and, and Brienne and the Hound had a huge fight and and um, and the Hound was left de uh, half dead and, and like begged Arya to kill her. Uh, begged Arya to kill him, which she didn't do. She just like left. <laughs> um, and she has gone to get a boat to um, Bravo. She has finally handed over the coin that um, Jacken gave to her and has used that. And as soon as the guy saw it, he was like, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. You yeah, know, get on the boat. Let's go. Um, so I can't wait to see her over there. But there was like so much that happened in the last episode uh, of season four that it's just too much to, to cover in this in this small little blurb at the beginning, which I have got to start condensing down because it's just too much. <laughs> so let's do it. Let's get into it. Season 5, Episode 1, The Wars to Come. Let's do it. We shouldn't be out here alone. If your father... He'll, he'll never know we're gone. Who are these two? You don't need to be afraid of my father. And who is your father? Oh, God. Are these psycho kids? <laughs> I don't trust anyone, not even the children. We shouldn't go in. Of course we should. What, have you come to see like a witch or something? You're gonna turn your mother into a bear? Get out. Let's go. No. You're not terrifying. You don't know what I am. I know you're a witch. And you can see the future. Tell me mine. What a bitch. Blood. Give me a taste. Three questions you get. Why do I know this chick? You'll never wed the prince. You'll wed the king. But I will be queen. For a time. Is this Marjorie? No. The king will have twenty children. And you will have three. Gold will be their crowns. Gold. The shrouds. <laughs> we have to go, Sassy. Oh. Okay. Is she getting married? 
It's not actually going to... Oh, no, this is a funeral. She's wearing black. Duh. <laughs> the mourners are waiting. From all seven kingdoms. They will wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's funny that they put those things over the eyes. What she built, it's ours. They're going to try to take it away. They have nothing to do with it. The man who murdered our father, he tore us apart. He's the enemy. That little monster is out there somewhere drawing breath. Did you set him free? Mm. At least he killed our father on purpose. You killed him by mistake. Look at the consequences. He loved you more than anyone in this world. Yeah, what are the consequences going to be for Turian when he gets caught? Is this him here hiding in this little box crate? Wow, look at him. How long has it been? <laughs> I saved your life. Yeah, don't complain, man. If they man. catch you, if they catch me. Do you know what it's like to stuff your shit through one of those air holes? I only know what it's like to pick up your shit and throw it overboard. <laughs> the home of my colleague, Illyrio Mapatis. People who saw Robert Baratheon for the disaster he was. Westeros needs to be saved from itself. My lord, don't think I am anymore. Yeah. Are you lord if you kill your father? You already drank yourself across the narrow sea. Why stop now? We are talking about the future of our country. The future is shit. He's feeling a bit sorry for himself at the moment. Oh, gross. I can handle a lot of things, but throwing up isn't one of them. Shit. Is this Marine? Wow. They were wishing. Shing se porjil. Oh, check that body out. He wants to cuddle. Sons of the Harpy. Sons of the Harpy. It's only a matter of time, Your Grace. Dalielon yet shamirosh, Oshiglis. I want him buried with honor in the Temple of the Graces. Sons of the Harpy will hear that message. Make them very angry. Angry snakes lash out. Find the men who did this and bring them to me. I have heard they found his body in a brothel. More than one unsullied has been known to visit Marine's brothels. May I ask you why? I do not know. I must go. Oh, Miss Sandy, she like, she's got it bad, man. Shouldn't you be training too? How many brothers can say that they've killed a White Walker and a Fen? <laughs> These men need a firm arm. Oh, here he is. They're poachers and thieves. Oh. The king wants a word. Hands off, lady. You're not cold, my lady. Never. The Lord's fire lives within me, John Snow. Feel. Are you a virgin? No. Good. Oh, no. Keep your filthy fucking hands off him. You know who rules at Winterfell now? Who's Bolton? Traitor who plunged a dagger in Rob Stark's heart. Don't you want to avenge him? I want a great many things, Your Grace. I was seen taking the body of a wildling girl north of the wall. It's where she belonged. They were born on the wrong side of the wall. It doesn't make them monsters. I shall take back the north. Tywin Lannister is dead. He can't protect them now. But if I'm to take Winterfell, I need more men. I'm talking about the wildlings. Oh, interesting. We'll take Winterfell once the north is won. I'll declare them citizens of the realm. It's a fair offer. Hmm? I'll offer them their lives and their freedom. If man kneels before me and swears his loyalty. Convince him to bend the knee. Grace. Or he burns. Shit. How much time do I have? Nightfall. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it is a good... It is a good offer for the wildlings and for them. My lord. Sword up, my...
thank you for all you've done for me. I have done nothing more than my duty, my lady. He'll be safe here. Okay, so he's staying there. I wonder if we're going to actually see uh, the hound, whether he actually did die or not. He said Sansa had a brother at Castle Black. Well, that'll take us. Us? Oh. I'm your squire. Do you even know what a squire is? An attendant to a knight? I'm not a knight. Well, where would I go? I don't care. I'm not your mother. Gosh, so hostile. I'm not a leader. Oh, okay, so she's all depressed and down on herself then. Oh. You told Lord Royce we were going to the Fingers, but we're heading west. We are. So where are we going? To a land so far from here, even Cersei Lannister can't get her hands on you. And where is that? But just being in his presence was enough to make it so clear. What a, what a force to be reckoned with. Oh, shut up, Loras. Deepest condolences, Your Grace. This tragedy. Mm. When is he going to die? That's when I want to know. That's what I want to know. Your Grace. Cousin Lancel, I hardly recognised you. Holy shit. Your wounds from the Blackwater seem to have healed. It wasn't my wounds that needed healing. Oh, God. He's going to get all religious. I led you into the darkness. And, of course, there was the king. I found peace in the light of the seven. You can too. I will pray for your father's soul. <laughs> God. That spear. That's the sun. Um, Oliver? I like him. <laughs> You're very respectful. I'm very hungry. I'm afraid my brother is keeping the king waiting. All I'll say is Loris needs to sh do something about those legs, man. Shave them or something. We shouldn't keep your intended waiting. She doesn't marry me. She doesn't go to Highgarden. Which means you're trapped here with Cersei Lannister as your mother by law. Perhaps. What is she? What is she, what is she planning? You never told me why you set me free. I didn't do it for you. I did it for the Seven Kingdoms. I believe men of talent have a part to play in the war to come. You have your father's instincts for politics, and you have mm -hmm. compassion. What is it you want, exactly? A land where the powerful do not prey on the powerless. That's how they became powerful in the first place. Perhaps. If you sat on the Iron Throne, would you spread misery throughout the land? I will never sit on the Iron Throne. But you could help another climb those steps and take that seat. Trying to recruit her, him for Danny. Good luck finding him. Who said anything about him? You can stay here at Illyrio's palace, or you can ride with me to Marine, meet Daenerys Targaryen, and decide if the world is worth fighting for. Can I drink myself to death on the road to Marine? <laughs> sure, Dick. Sure, darling. Our mission to Yunkai was a resounding success. They did ask for some concessions. They asked for the reopening of the fighting pits. Where slaves fought slaves to the death. Free men would fight free men. No fighting pits. If you could How many times must I say no before you understand? Oh, God. If he really believes I'm going to reopen the fighting pits. You should reopen the fighting pits. It was quick. And I loved to fight. So they sold me to a man in Tolos who trained fighters for the pits. I'm only here because of those pits. I made so much money for my master. He set me free when he died. I joined the Second Sons. And then I met you. I don't like the idea of the pits, but, you know. You've made thousands of enemies all across the world. Show your strength. You're not the mother of Unsullied. You're the mother of dragons. Where are said dragons? I don't want another child's bones dropped at my feet. No one's seen Drogon in weeks. I can't control them anymore. A dragon queen with no dragons? It's not a queen. Oh, Okay. They're gonna be pissed if they're still alive. They are still alive. They're hiding. They're gonna they're gonna attack her. Viserion? Viserion? Rhaegar? Oh fuck! <laughs> oh shit!
Not the cute little dragons anymore. He wants me to bend the knee. And he wants the free folk to fight for him. He told me you weren't here to conquer. He told me your people are bled enough. That's right. I don't want them bleeding for Stannis Baratheon either. Isn't their survival more important than your pride? Yep. Fuck my pride. Then bend the knee and save your people. They respected me. The moment I kneel for a southern king, that's all gone. How will they do it? Burn at the stake. That's what the Lord of Light likes. They'll burn you alive. I don't want people to remember me like that, scorched and screaming. But it's better than betraying everything I believe. He'd rather burn than kneel. The great hero. You're a good lad. But if you can't understand, there's no point explaining. I think you're making a terrible mistake. The freedom to make my own mistakes was all I ever wanted. I get it, but wouldn't you... What if you had some citizens that are like, okay, if I get to go on the other side of the wall, then yeah, okay, I'll join your... I'll join. You know, you kind of take away their choice at that stage. I don't know. Bend the knee, I promise you mercy. Kneel and live. He won't do it. This was my home for many years. I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. Well, it's no getting out of it now. We all must choose. We choose light or we choose darkness. There is only one true king. Here stands your king of lies. Oh, well. Oh, nah, that'd be fucking awful. Do they, like, do they have to stay and watch? <gasps> He's leaving. Oh, is that John? Oh god, he's gonna get in trouble for that. Didn't want to hear him screaming. Oh. So this was a good episode. Um, it was a nice follow-on and a nice introduction to the fifth season. I don't know what the purpose of the first scene was with uh, Cersei as a young girl going to see this witch and having her future told. Um, the girl, I know why she seems familiar to me. She played the queen in The Witcher. That's why she looks familiar. Um, Syria's mother. Anyway, that's beside the point. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the whole, what the purpose of that scene was for, but maybe it's something that'll come into play later. I don't know. Obviously, we have the aftermath of uh, Tywin's death, the, the funeral. Um, from what Jamie was saying, a lot of the lords are going to bit try and uh, stick their fingers in now that Tywin is gone and manipulate things somehow. I don't know, but I don't see Cersei letting any of that stuff happen. But now we have Tyrion and Pentos with Barris, and he is trying to recruit him uh, onto Danny's side, which is cool. With Danny, are uh, the Sons of the Harpy group. Uh, Making themselves known, killing, uh, well, they killed that unsullied uh, white rat. Uh, so I guess they're going to be a antagonist this season, um, causing Danny some trouble. With the whole wanting to open the, uh, the uh, fight pits again, uh, and her conversation with uh, Darius, um, and him saying that, you know, she's not a queen of dragons without dragons and then she goes just to to get her other two dragons was it just me or had they grown quite a bit they seemed pissed she was scared 
And she said that no one has seen Drogon in weeks, so she has lost all control of them. I don't know how that's going to work out because I know she ends up riding Drogon, so he must uh, obey her at some stage. I don't want to say obey because he is his own creature, but yeah. But he must come back uh, and they must reach some kind of consensus with each other. Sansa and Peter has dropped off uh, Robin and he's gone to you know, get some training and, and yeah, I don't know where uh, Peter's taken Sansa. They're, they've gone somewhere, um, but they're obviously got some schemes uh, going on, hatching, and I'm interested to know what they are. Uh, Brienne is just, you know, she's kind of down in the dumps. Uh, she's taking it out on Podrick. She knows that uh, I, uh, Arya didn't want to be saved, so uh, she, she's kind of, I think she's kind of just given up on that, and I don't know what she's going to do now. She's, yeah, like I said, she's a bit down in the dumps on herself. Uh, and then you got the, uh, the execution of uh, Mance, and then to have him burning at the stake, and for John to put an arrow through his heart to kill him quickly, uh, I'm sure he'll get some uh, pushback on that, not just from Alistair, but from Stannis, which is going to be fun. But yeah, no, good episode. Uh, you know, it sets, it's setting up a lot of different things, and you know, I'm, I'm, I can't wait to see where they all go. So we're going to leave it there for today. Thank you for joining with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time for more Game of Thrones. Bye.